fine. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make sprites and how to find sprites. So first, go to Scratch mit.edu and then go to my stuff and then press new project okay um you can have the cat sprite if you want that will always show up when you try to create a new sprite so look you can just find a sprite by clicking on this cat by clicking on that cat you can find loads of sprites that you want animals people's fantasy dance Music, sports, food, fashion, letters, there's all sorts of stuff. So now look, I can even search up ones that you want. There's not like everything that you want, but there's there's like a rocket. If you want them to face like the sideways, not up, you just have to change it. Like you click on direction and then you'll change it to 180 for me. Okay, and then she will face that way, or she, or the rocket. So that's how you use it. Now, if you want to paint the sprite, you just um hover over the choose a sprite and then press paint. It's just a little um paintbrush. Now I'm gonna tell you all the features you have in this. You can make rectangles. I got a re rectangle or square. I mean, you can draw it either one. So if you don't want the outline, you can just press that. So you don't get an outline, see? If you want the outline, I'm going to make black outline. And then you don't want a fill, you just press that cross button. If you want your outline to be like big, like a thick one, you can just increase that one. And then look, I got a rectangle with a big outline. So, I can convert it to bitmap, and I can draw instead. This can just be convenient for some people. It cannot be convenient for some people, but I normally use just vector. So look, you can create an, you can create nice lines, and then you can even straighten them by just pressing, by pressing shift. But Sometimes when you're drawing in um, bitmap, there can be like these lines. So you can see like some lines. If you, yeah, look, you can see some lines like that, which is not always what you want. So that's why, um, that's why I don't use bitmap a lot. So you can draw like them. You can draw lines and then you can use a fill bucket so you just press on that um, bucket and then change the color and then you can make a fill button i mean you can make like a little rectangle or something okay you can also draw um circles for some reason in bitmap it does not look like a circle you can the good thing about bitmap is that you don't have to, like, when you go to vector, you have to press this cross button to not make the outline. But in bitmap, you can just press the outline and only do outline. So look, I, I made the outline only because I pressed that. When I do the fill, look, it will just fill immediately because it, now when I do it, it won't do it because my, like, my... The only bad part, my like cursor is not like that. It's not like that. That's why it will not fill when I press it. So the only bad part about the um vector is look, you you can just basically click on it, and that's what will happen if you do that. You you get like a little part of it, which I which I don't want. You might want it. Some other people might want it, but I don't want it. Look. So look, you can just choose that part. It looks like that, but it's not all the way. So that's the only bad part about um vector. So I'm gonna explain all the stuff in bitmap. Let me get all of them out. So what you can do in bitmap is look, I have those, 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 and then in I can just either click on them all at a time, or I can just do that. It will get all of them disappeared. But 
by pressing backspace. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make lines. You can choose the thickness of the lines. I don't want to just put 30, 40. And then you, if you want to, if you want to make it like that, you can make it. But if you want it to make super straight, press shift while you're moving. And then I'll make it like nice. And then you can adjust it by clicking on the mouse pointer and then you just move it somewhere. Sometimes these get super glitchy and you have to move them out to make it like the correct one. But look, mine is not in the little canvas thing. So when I move there, look how high it goes. That's why some of the, sometimes it can get glitchy. Okay, so that's how you do um, the lines. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the paintbrush. You just put whatever color you want and then you can also increase the size. You don't have to press that, you can just delete it and then press like 100. There, that's the max you can go into. 107. Oh, I can't. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't do any different. It will only do the max as 100, but you can change the number. So look, if you want to co color the whole page up, you should probably use a big number. The remaining on the outside won't even show. So like the canvas has lots of them outside. If you can see like over there. Yeah, see this part? See this part over there? That part won't even show on the canvas. Okay, the only bad part about bitmap, sometimes this can happen. You just get like the whole thing. But when you do it in vector, you don't get um like the whole thing. So look, I'm going to paint. I got the whole thing. I, and then when I go here, the only bad part, part about um bitmap is that you you how you can't like click on it. Look what happens. You only get some part of it, and then it will do all sorts of bad stuff. So it you should be careful. But some people say bitmap is good. Some people say it's not good. So now for the text, the maybe the coolest part. But yeah. Just get a color and then you can choose whatever type you want. They don't have like all sorts of time typing. So what does this do? Look, you write like that. They don't give like an English one for these, some of them. But they show you how it works. So I'll show you all of them. Same serif is the normal one. Like that, regular hours. If you're in America, that's what we use. You might not, but yeah. JS, JK, um, no, I just wrote it. It's just like little thinner. And then handwriting. It's just, I think, like handwriting. Yeah, it looks like handwriting for some people. Marker. It's like a thick design and then it slams. So it's bold and italic. Cur curly. It's like, um, it's like cursive kind of, but not really. Pixel. It's like pix. It's just like pixels combined to make letters. So look, it looks like robots language. But robots can show pixel stuff. So this is just that's probably in some other language. But that's like how thick they use it and how they write it. So I showed this one. It's just super thin and then super straight. The last one is just basically, I guess, um, same serif. So look, this is that, this is this last one, and what is same serif? Same serif is just, yeah, it's basically the same thing, but a little less bolder. So that's the text. If you want to like, oh yeah, I forgot. There's also a fill by bucket. It it won't work in bitmap, but it will work in vector. So you just press that fill bucket and then click. The only problem is that it doesn't always get a, um aligned. So if you want it to work for the whole page, then you can um do it. 
I'm doing it as Sprite. I'm doing it as a Sprite, if you can see. That's why it's I can move it around. If it was a background, it won't be able to move around. So that's what happened with the fill bucket. But the good thing about the bit vector is that you draw a little, you draw a little square. Let me just put the outline instead. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then, okay, that. I don't think you can see it very well, so I'll just, I'll, yeah. Okay, I got my rectangle, rectangle, and then I use a fill bucket to put a color in the rectangle, so I can do that. Or I can do this, look, I put black inside, and then I can put red outside, so look. And then I can put it there, like that, but it doesn't look that great for me. So, that's how you use the fill bucket. This, I'm not going to delete this one. I'm going to explain what the B-shape tool means. It's not, it just looks like a basic um, mouse pointer, but it's not actually. This has a different, this just doesn't doesn't do anything you can select with it but this one you reshape so some people get confused some people do not I don't know anybody who got, who got confused I mean my friends did but I didn't so you just press the you just click on the reshape button and then press there anywhere and you can create this guy or whatever you want he can be Mr. Poopy Pants from Captain of their pants so yeah, that's what the oh, that's what the reshape button does. So that's what the reshape button does. In my next video, I will be showing the same stuff, but for like backdrops. So hope you like the video. If you do, and if you don't, still like the video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more videos that I'm posting. Bye.